against a bed and breakfast landlady. Because <laughs> it's, it's absolutely horrendous, isn't it, when you're in the bed and breakfast. I mean, it's not so much the, uh, the bed that's horrendous, it's more the breakfast, isn't it? Because, it, because I mean, a, a breakfast in, in a hotel, it, well, it really is a breakfast like no other, isn't it? You know, when you have breakfast in a hotel, it's, it's not a normal breakfast. You know, I mean, I can't think of a time when I've ever been at home and I've thought to myself, hmm, yeah, so uh, I feel ever so hungry this morning. Uh, I wonder whether I've got any tinned grapefruit segments. <laughs> oh no, I'm right out of them. Hmm, thank God I've got these prunes. <laughs> yes, I shall serve them with slices of processed cheese. <laughs> and tepid baked beans from a vat. You know, but, you know, as if it's not bad enough having to endure that horrific breakfast, quite often you will find, especially in the smaller places like the guest houses, those sort of places, you will find that the landlady will come out and start talking to you. It's absolutely horrendous, isn't it? You're sitting there, just having the, just making your way through the breakfast, and then the landlady sort of comes out and says, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Enjoy your stay here. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a, it's a lovely, it's lovely, it's a lovely part of the world around here, isn't it? So, mm, it's, a, it's a real undiscovered gem, just a stone's throw away from the centre of Birmingham. You know, then, then the, the friggin' questions start, don't they? It's like a flippin' interrogation. Oh, yes, yes. Well, what brings you here, then? Uh, business or pleasure? There's no reason for visiting. Business or pleasure? Uh, I normally say uh, a bit of both. <laughs> you know, that's a joke to them. I mean, you know, I mean, quite often, quite often, quite often I say to them, I say, well, I'm here on business, but I've certainly been enjoying myself in the room. <laughs> you know, but they're, they're, they're not happy with a witty answer like that. They still keep going on at you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Have you had a chance to visit the guest lounge? Oh, oh you must go into the, the guest lounge. There's a, a fascinating collection of dollies in there. Yes, I've been collecting little porcelain dollies ever since I was a little girl. Yes. All over the, I get them from all over the world. Do you know, there's a dolly in there from Portugal. You'll find absolutely fascinating. Oh, have you not looked at the dollies yet? Have you not got... Oh, oh, you must go into the lounge and look at the dollies. Not yet, not yet. Finish your breakfast. Oh, yes, yeah, so don't you finish your breakfast. Go and do you know, everyone who stays here, they all say it's a real home from home when, when we stay at your guest house. Yes, we can have a little bit of a chat about the local area. Then we can go and look at the dollies. Go on, you know, look at the dollies. Go and look at the dollies. And you're just sitting there, you're just sitting there just thinking, please, please just stop talking to me. I think that's a reasonably accurate representation <laughs> of what it's like being in a guest house. And obviously each guest house will vary slightly. But it's probably like that, you know. Now the point is, the point is, and this is this is why I'm mentioning all this. This is the the real reason that I'm here tonight, and obviously I'm here to provide the links and so on. But this is the this is the reason that I've come here all the way, all the way round the M25 to be here. Because the fact of the matter is that I have come up with a way of uh, taking revenge against these people. I have found, I have thought of a method of, of us getting our own back on these landladies. Uh, and and it, it's so simple, I can't believe no one's thought of it before. It's so easy, anyone can do it. There's hope for us, really. Uh, right, let's say, let's say it's in the morning and uh, you're downstairs having your breakfast. Uh, let's say for the sake of argument you're eating your cereal. What you do is you order a full cooked breakfast. Now, they may well ask you a question to try and trick you. 
And the, the typical the typical question they will ask you is that they will uh, they will say, uh, uh, "What will you have in the breakfast?" <laughs> now, if they ask that, just say, "Oh, I'll have everything, please." You know, it's the the bacon, the uh, hash browns, the black pudding. Yes, it's, it's everything. It's the lot. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so it's, 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 it's the full, the full lot, you know, the baked beans. And, oh, 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 they say, oh, do you know, we are pleased when someone really appreciates their breakfast in the morning. Oh, that's really good news that you're having the full lot. Do you know, Jeanette in the kitchen, she'll be delighted to cook up a really good meal for someone who really appreciates their morning fry up. Oh, that's good. Uh, do, do, do you want the tin tomatoes as well? Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. I think the tin tomatoes are an absolutely integral part of the breakfast. Oh, oh, don't forget the tin tomatoes, Jeanette. We've got a hungry mouth to feed on table two. <laughs> God, you, you've sown the seeds. And then, this, and then this is it, right? Then this is it. Then... When they bring out the breakfast, don't touch it. <laughs> you know, pay no attention to it, you know, just leave it on the table. You know, I mean, I mean don't even put your fork into it. <laughs> and then, and then this, is, this, this is the beauty of it. And then you just refuse to discuss the matter. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's totally within your rights, isn't it? I mean, you have paid 45 pounds for bed and breakfast. There is no rule that you have to eat the breakfast. Or even discuss with them why you're not eating it. In fact, I've actually checked this with top legal experts. And they have confirmed to me there is nothing the landlady can do about it except weep. I mean, I don't know about you, but sometimes I find myself in one of these hotels, about 20 past eight in the morning, I'm in bed, desperately tired, you know, not hungry at all, really. But I still come downstairs to teach these people a lesson. <laughs> yes, uh, I, uh, I don't want this cereal that I just poured for myself. Uh, I don't like, I don't like scrambled egg. Oh, they say, uh, how about a boiled egg? In, in, how about a boiled egg instead? Leave me alone! Sometimes I think that throwing one's weight around in the breakfast room isn't enough. We can actually go further. So perhaps uh, after we've enjoyed our first chat, I will talk about how we can go further.